Well, look no further than The Volley Shop at 579 Oakhurst Drive in Aurora. Retail hours are Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Fridays, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., and on Saturdays and Sundays, just call The Volley Shop at 630-898-2003. You can also go to their website at thevolleyshopglc.com, where you can join their newsletter and be the first to find out about sales, events, and other promotions, like free shipping on all orders over $100. That's The Volley Shop. They serve you on and off the court. Massage Envy believes everybody deserves a great customized massage or facial. So we've made relaxation convenient and affordable. At Massage Envy, we're here for you every day of the week, morning and night across the entire country. And with that in mind, we promise one thing. We help you take care of you. Baton Sports the official volleyball sponsor of the 2011 Illinois Girls High School Volleyball All-Star Game. Baton, passion for a better game. Check out BaytonSports.com for more information. Baton, the athletic ball expert. When your business is getting off the ground or beginning to flourish, go to the Jay-Z Law Offices. John Zapala guarantees aggressive, effective representation with a true desire to help you. From the formation of limited liability entities to employment agreements and general contracts, John Zapala is here to gear your company for success. Jay-Z Law Office's virtual office services allows you to work with them from the convenience of your desk. Don't believe me, just watch. Well, you better believe that it's going to be a fit set right here on SportstownChicago.com. Welcome back to our broadcast booth. Ryan Faye, Chris Bosco, Josh Fowler over here to my left as well. We've got a fifth set here for the 2015 SportstownChicago.com Girls Volleyball All-Star Game. Again, as I mentioned before we took the break, the first time since 2010, the inaugural event year that we've had this go to a fifth set, gentlemen. And we have got an exciting fifth set coming up right now. Yeah, a lot of great players in this game. A lot of good team effort on both sides. Some incredible diving plays, too. So we'll get to some fifth set rules in just a moment as Team White gets on the board first, one nothing. They have yet to switch sides here as when the first team that has scored eight points, that is when they will rotate sides. They will play this up to 15. You still must win by two. See what happens. Uh, team White definitely has the momentum now. one nothing Team White there as it's Katarzynski now off the set to Molly Haggerty there, and we are tied at one. What's scary about that is that hit off the block and still was coming down with force. That is scary. That, that's, <laughs> that's what the Wisconsin Badgers are getting. So off that serve there from Canigan, left to right. Team White now sets up to the far side. Wow. Nice dig there, but it goes out of play. Team White now up two to one. <laughs> Hilarious. And just that, now we're, <laughs> that was funny as we get one last look at that one. As Team White serve right to left over. As they are up by one. It's Haggerty again answered there. I believe by the net actually. And she was. So they're going to say it was deflected out of play. I do apologize. I believe the line judge had it out. We take one more look at this one off the setup from Haggerty. We'll take a better look here. Oh, yeah. That, that one was deflected off. Like, okay. <laughs> it was so fast you just couldn't tell. Right, exactly. <laughs> so off the, the Gerald setup now on the near side. Nice. And down it goes off of the ISO block there at the near perch by the hands of Perinar and Team Pink now up three to two. I think the last two before that, the one there, were so fast that you couldn't tell. <laughs> Probably right. The drill now sets this one up now to the far side for Schilling, answered there by the ISO block on the far side on the hands of Team Pink and Annie Ellis, 4-2. That was good, uh, we, we move your feet and get position uh, Ellis for that nice block for Team Pink. Claire Anderson now into the game for Team White. We'll be going to DePaul University for a collegiate career. So now it'll be Emma Decker on the serve left to right. Near side now for Anderson with authority. She beat Molly Haggerty to that one. Wow. Team White down by one now at 4-3. And Team White's definitely leading, uh, leaning on Anderson uh, for, for some late points here in these late, later sets. And let's see if she can keep it going here in this fifth and final one set. One look at that. It just zipped past Molly Haggerty. She had no chance on that one. Wow. As it's Emily Bushman now serving. Right to left serve over to Clark at the 10-foot line. Set up now to the other side for Haggerty. Answered by the ISO block there of Anderson. Far side now. Cross court off the net. And it stays in. 
That literally played the tightrope line on the tape there and it stays in play. And it's now a score of 5-3 in favor of Team Pink here in this fifth set. Yeah, towing that line and just ending up on the right side of the line. Haggerty left to right. Jane DeGio now sets up now to the near side for Anderson off the block there. Back to goes to Schilling to keep in play. And DeGerald will just get that one right back over to Molly Haggerty. Now coming in was Lynn Roth, and it looked like two players are going to hit it at the same time. Now Bushman sets up for Anderson. Off of the block there, and down it goes. As this coming one is right going to come me. right to the hands of, well, apparently me, because you guys weren't doing anything. You guys were lazy. So I'm going to do the work myself. That was a terrible throw, though. I apologize to the line judge. <laughs> I'd have thrown it on a rope to him. There's no know. replay of that, is there? No? Okay, good. <laughs> and nobody find one either. 6-3 the score in favor of Team Pink. This is Molly Haggerty serve once again. Left to right over. It's the Gerald set up for Anderson again, going towards the far corner, but kept alive by Clark. Now it's Haggerty for Linroth. Answered there by the ISO block of Schilling. And it's 6-5. Excuse me, 6-4. Haggerty kind of found herself out of position on that last one. Kind of came up a little too much. We see one last look here as Haggerty set that one up for Linroth, but again, Schilling right there at the far side. And that one stays in play. And that's what happens sometimes. You just get sucked in towards the net. You gotta make sure you keep a little bit of space. 6-4 Team Pink, near side now off the block from Anderson. It goes to Haggerty, who sets this one up for Linroth. Over the double block, kept alive there. Near side, Anderson again! But that one is gonna hit off the antenna. Well, see the near judge here call that one. So it's 7-4 now, Team Pink. If they get the next point, that is when the teams will switch sides of the court. Tiffany Clark on the serve left to right. Almost a misplay there as Olsen scrambles to get that one over to Bushman. Now it's Haggerty. Set up now near side, cross court kill there, down nice. it goes. And getting that one is Perinar. And now since the eighth point has been scored in favor of Team Pink, this is when both teams will switch sides. Perinar has gotten three really big points for her team. She had that block just a little bit before. She had that one that towed on the, the tape and then hit the line right before the line, and then that last big kill there. So she's really coming on here at the end of this set in the clutch. You heard Molly Haggerty uh, communicating to her teammate yelling, cross, cross, cross. And uh, then she definitely hit it on the cross court winner there. There's Tiffany Clark now serving as both teams have switched sides, so it's Team Pink right to left and Team White left to right. Near side, now set up there. Wow. Oh my goodness, Murphy! <laughs> Rachel Castino! Woo hoo hoo! Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> the reactions are going wild. You know how you ever see wow. a basketball Watch dunk this. and you call that a poster? Watch That just oh. happened right there. <laughs> Woo, man. As that one answered, right. Lynn Ross kill attempt answered there by the double block of Team White. <laughs> Lindroth gave her everything she, everything she got, but. Uh, Four hands are better than one. One around. more look at this. Woo! Wow. Woo! Wow. Wow. As there's the last kill attempt there just a moment ago, too. So it's 8 6 now. Team White with the serve. As it's Rachel Gustino to get this one over. Left to right. Now it's setting out to the far side for Perinar. Answered there. And the ISO block stays in. Nicely done. That once again for Team White. That was Pruce. As we take one more look at this one. Right there at the far side in slow motion. Team White within one. So once again, the left to right serve. It's Clark. Now for Linroth near side, but the ISO block goes out of play, so the point will go to Team Pink, 9 7. For Linroth, this has been a little bit of a drought as she finally got a kill here in this fifth and final set. She's been on, it's been a little while for her. So now it'll be Veronica Katarzynski to serve as she comes into the game now for Team Pink. She'll go back to serve with a team up by two. Right to left over. Olsen, far side. Kind of a hook shot there as that one is corralled in by Katarzynski to Schilling. Or I should say Haggerty and Linroth. And a couple players collide as Haggerty just pushed that one too far behind the back line. Team White within one, 9-8. A lot of scrambling there on that last one. A little now bit of miscommunication. See, and we're gonna see right here as a couple players collide there. And Haggerty pushes it back over, but just a little too much mustard on it. That was really her only option, too, and she was running over. It's hard to really gauge that. Left to right serve behind the back line. That one goes. So now the point will go to Team Pink at 10-8. Now it'll be Allie Linroth serving. Right to left over. 
front of that now, near side. Over the hands of Haggerty and Clark. A little bit late there for that block. Just a little bit, they were in position, it was just mistimed, it looked like. Cause you see Haggerty. You see she's kind of coming down as that one is yeah. finally hit over the net. Like you said, just slightly mistimed by Molly Haggerty. 10-9 the score. As this one now, gonna be set up for Haggerty again. Man. And once again, Molly Haggerty. <laughs> So, and, and, and at some point, you just you just you get become a loss for words at it. Yeah, you brought Pete to tears over there. <laughs> it's terrible. Well, I'm, those, those, are, those are tears of joy. Yeah, oh. Those are tears of joy. Oh, okay. I mean, all right, all right. You never can tell with Pete. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna remember that. Can we get this? Is in the archives, right? <laughs> <laughs> As we get play back underway, DeGerald sets it up for Schilling. Oh, and nice. Nice save there by the photographer there. 11-9 the score now. Or 11-10, excuse me, now off of that kill. As we take one more look at that one. As once again, okay. nicely set up here for Schilling in slow motion. Just look at the windup she has here too. Woo! Wow. So off that serve from Team White, down by one. Near side, Haggerty again. Oh! Mmm, tasty. Ooh. Goodness. Can we wow. please see that again? <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Here, well, you know what? Here's your wish. Just, it just, it's the just assist so set up and just watch it unfold. I really just like to watch wow. her form. She has, wow. she has such good follow through. Right to left serve over as Team Pink is up 12 to 10. It's Christina now to get that one over to Haggerty. Now set up now to the far side. The block was answered, but it goes out of play. 13 to 10 now, Team Pink. And it looks like they're trying to put the pedal to the metal to close this one out, too, in this fifth set. Timeout called by Team White. We'll take the timeout with them, 13 to 10, Team Pink, in this fifth and decisive set of the 2015 Girls Volleyball All-Star Game right here on SportstownChicago.com. When your business is getting off the ground or beginning to flourish, go to the Jay-Z Law Offices. John Zapala guarantees aggressive, effective representation with a true desire to help you. From the formation of limited liability entities to employment agreements and general contracts, John Zapala is here to gear your company for success. Jay-Z Law Office's virtual office services allows you to work with them from the convenience of your desk. If aggressive, effective representation sounds good to you, then call the Jay-Z Law Offices at 312-854-8065. Or... They call me King Go Copy. Welcome back in SportstownChicago.com. DJ Labosco with me, along with Josh Philo. As that one there is going to be a service error on Team Pink, and Team White now down by two at 13-11. Here at the on SportstownChicago.com, brought to you by the Illinois Center for Broadcasting, where broadcasting careers begin. As one last look at that one, just the tape was not her friend on that one, as it's Bushman to serve now left to right. Far side, Haggerty again. Oof. Set match point, Team Pink. Molly Haggerty with that kill. She's just really taken over here, guys, in this fifth and final set. Just so many kills here down the stretch trying to get her team this win. So one more look at that Haggerty kill once again as now Haggerty's back to serve for the match. Right to left over. Front of the net, far side. Oh. Not done yet. That was a nice play. Tiffany Clark almost did the splits there as Team White now back down by two. That that was really pretty. I, that's one you <laughs> want to see again, just because of how, how how well it was set up. Now it's Aaron Olson serving. Team down by two. Left to right over to Haggerty. Front of that far side. Perinar ends it. And, and in five it. sets total, three sets to two, the 2015 SportstownChicago.com Illinois High School Girls Volleyball All Star Game goes to Team Pink. Both teams will shake hands at midcourt as in five sets total, the score was 25-21, 25-22. Those are the first two sets taken by Team Pink. And then sets three and four were taken by Team White, 25-22 and 28-26. And in this fifth and decisive set that you saw right here on sportstownchicago.com, the fifth set taken by Team White by the score of 25 to 22. Welcome you back here to our broadcast booth. Ryan, Chris, Mari in the background along with Josh as well. 
We'll get to the MVP conversation and the interview with her in just a moment. But really quickly, Josh, I'll go to you about this one. Just before we kind of dissect it a little bit, what a match and overall, what a day. Yeah, unbelievable. It's, it started out, it was a, it was a little slow, we get, getting going. Uh, teams, fi teams finding their, uh, their, their way along the court and everything. Uh, Coach Saunders really getting in there. Uh, starting out with team one, team two, kind of, you know, go going here and there. And then not a lot of substitution going on. But then substituting uh, towards the end there and then really finding the actual core team there in the fifth and final set. You know what's funny, as you, as, you, as you take a look at how in that first few sets that it was kind of like where Team Pink was really dominant, even though they were still close sets, you know, on the score sheet it was yeah. still two sets to none. Yeah. And we saw in the early stages of it as well how we saw Team White be resilient in those stages of three, set three and set four. Uh -huh. And then in set five it just went beyond back and forth. And now we're going to turn it over to our public, uh, Pete Ferreri, who's got the MVP presentation. I, I don't think there's much of a surprise. Yeah, that I don't think got there's it. much of a shock there either. To I be mean, perfectly honest. You know, it's funny. She's the only one of her sisters to to get the uh, All Star MVP too. So she's got something to to hang yeah, over her sister. I was gonna head. say, is that bragging rights over her sister? Yeah. Or? Yeah. You should, you, you, I, we'll, we'll have to make sure that Mari asks her about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so in just a moment, we'll have Molly Haggerty talk with our sideline reporter and Mari in just a second as the photo ops. We'll be finishing up with her. Uh, overall, again, we want to thank our sponsors for today's event as well. We want to thank the Jay-Z Law Offices, Ike Sports, uh, Mizuno, the Hyatt Regency, B96, the Illinois High School Volleyball Coaches Association, Massage Envy, the Volley Shop, Perfect Photography, Sabatino's, Knut's Pizza, Mario Tricosi, uh, Baden for the Balls, uh, the Illinois Center for Broadcasting, Moraine Valley for having this event once again for the first time since 2012. And this is where it all started back in 2010. And it's kind of ironic how we come back here for the first time in a few years. And last, you know, in 2010 it was a five-set game in Moraine. And it seems like the it just goes as is. When this event is at Moraine Valley, we're going to have a long All-Star game. Hey, I don't know, something in the water, I guess, right? I'm not <laughs> sure what it is. But, yeah, it's also nice to be, you know, it's nice to be in the presence of history. Seeing the first time of something, that's always nice to see. So, but yeah, overall, it's a real good day of volleyball, competitive, lighthearted. You know, everyone was having fun and, and playing hard, and that's what you got to do. Yeah, and uh, we saw in the showcase as well, even though that won two sets as well. So, you know, it's we saw competitiveness all morning and all afternoon long here as well. And there was really, there was never a dull moment in any of these matches, showcase or all star game. And there were so many highlights overall, too. Yeah, there were so many good plays, I mean, on both sides. I mean, gosh, some of the kills by Castino for for Team White were just out of this world. And now we're going to talk it or hand it over to our sideline reporter, Mari, who's with the All-Star Game MVP, Molly Haggerty. Mari? And I am here with Molly Haggerty, who just was named the most valuable player in that All-Star match. Molly, how does it feel to be named the MVP? Uh, it feels great. Obviously, I'm playing against great athletes, and to be named is incredible. But the players I were with, I couldn't have gone any better with them, so I have to thank my teammates. How was it playing with them? I know you guys really didn't know each other, but you guys had a lot of great chemistry, so what was that like? Um, I played with a lot of them in, well, again, a lot of them in clubs, so I think we all have like the same mindset to win and stuff, so it was really cool coming together and winning, so it was fun. So now that you are the MVP, does that mean you have some bragging rights over your sisters? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it feels pretty cool. I mean, we try not to talk too much about that awards and stuff with the family or else a lot of drama breaks out. But, I mean, it's pretty cool. But we'll see what happens. Well, I wish you the best of luck next year at Wisconsin, and thanks for your time. Thank you. All right, Mari, thank you very much. She says that might create a little drama. I, I'm pretty sure at a family dinner she's going to stay oh. hey, out of the sisters, I was the All-Star Game MVP. You guys weren't. I, as one of three brothers, if I was the MVP <laughs> and they weren't, I am bragging the entire time, yeah, how, how every could you opportunity not? that I get. Oh, yeah, but I was the All-Star MVP. You guys weren't. I'm that's, bringing the that's how it would be. <laughs> I'm bringing the plaque and the picture they took. That's gonna yeah, there you right, go. Right you, that's, you, get, you, get, you, you obviously have your own individual individual and team photos, but yeah. the one that extra is with the MVP. Yeah. I mean, yeah I mean, you can hang that up, frame it, you can do whatever. So that is going to do it for our coverage here at Moraine Valley. This has been the 2015 Senior Showcase and Illinois High School Girls Volleyball All-Star Game. I want to thank our, our production crew offered today as well. We want to thank Timmy Helms, our flow director, uh, Chris Hamilton, Rosa, 
uh, Timmy Helms, who was sitting to my right the whole time, kind of helping us out here as well. Uh, I want to thank uh, Mrs. Ferrari, Erica, as well, for all the help she had beforehand as well. Uh, it was good to see you again, as always. It's always a pleasure. Uh, I want to thank Mari for our sideline reporting here today as well. I want to thank again Moraine Valley for allowing us to be here today. And we also have to thank the man behind the project ever since 2010, Creighton's own Pete Ferrari, who directed our broadcast here today. And through all the setup and through the entire matches, it concludes our event here today, guys. And for Chris, for Josh, I'm Ryan. You've been listening to the 2015 SportstownChicago.com Illinois High School Girls Volleyball All-Star Game. We will see you next season.